Hello, here with part 17 of my Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play campaign as the Byzantine Empire. We've almost got all the territories required to restore the Roman Empire, but we're just not quite there yet. Uh, we've currently got the Black Death pouring through the land, so we sort of need to just hang back for a little while. It won't last forever. And once it passes, we can resume hostilities, but for the time being, it's just not worth it. Man, he's 70 years old. Keep it up. Because if your son... This one here. If you could last another... 9 years... It's a long time. If you could last another 9 years... We can make this kid the heir. And he might just... Make a better emperor... Than... Our current heir. Who's not great, to be honest. But yeah, we're secluded with our courtiers. Not much we can do about that right now. I want you to stop. Oh. Okay. Can't really do anything while this is going on. What's this? Oh, whatever. Stubborn's not a bad trade, I think. Kind of is, but also... Well, oh, just whatever. Just get in there. Just looking for anything else we can do while this is... Or just making some preparations, I suppose. In my mind. But, you know, the India is still plague-ridden, so... We can't expect that suddenly Rome's going to release from the plague. It's going to last a little while. depopulated now which means we have we should have even more disease resistance yeah, it's 55% now cats exterminated oh, whatever Okay, it's starting to die down in India. And we haven't had any food events, so we don't even have a lack of food, so we're fine. Yeah, the Black Death usually comes in through India, through the Silk Road, hits up through here, goes up this way, comes back around to China like a boomerang. And it'll come down here eventually as well. But I don't think any regions are really safe from the Black Death. You just have to wait and just hope it doesn't kill all your family members. That's all you can do. Yeah, it's starting to die down in India. God, it's 
just when I see something like Hispania here as a like a de jure empire, I just think the Roman Empire was the empires of Hispania, Francia, half of Britannia, Italia, Byzantine Empire, you know, part of this as well. So many empires all rolled up in one. An insanely impressive empire, the Romans. Wow, look at that. We have really lost a lot of lot of uh, vassal troops. But then again, so would everybody else in the world. I'm going to hit these guys again, eventually. Until they're completely kicked out of the, uh, the west. Just leave them out here. If they want to fight amongst the pagans and whatnot, it's fine. Okay, good. it's good to see that it's dying down in India. I am making absolute ass loads of cash at the moment. I literally can't spend it all. Good to see he rebuilt that. All the Jews are to blame. Oh, you superstitious fools. It's not the Jews' fault. It's the fleas. It's the fleas that the Jews brought in, alright? Fucking hell, how many times am I going to tell you this? <laughs> it's just a joke, please don't kill me. Alright. Uh, oh, I don't want to expel them. No, sorry, I'll take the high road here. I know the Jews aren't to blame. Look, as long as you watch out for their horns, you don't have anything to worry about. This is reminded of Borat. Uh, that a pogrom is going to take place. Stop that. All nations in history that have basically used the Jews as scapegoats have more or less, I think, come to regret it. So I won't be one of them. I'm not going to join that. rise up against me, you die. But leave the Jews alone. Alright, it's ending in Persia. Shouldn't be too much longer over this. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Who's this? He's a commander of the Byzantine Empire. He's greedy.
I'm already a cannibal, what does it matter? She's not important. Hang on, something adjusted there. Did we get some more land? My wife? Should I eat my wife? No. I'll let her live. Taken that, he be eating that pussy to all kinds of extremes. Again? It's a strike too. Don't let there be a strike three. Damn, down to sixty thousand. Oh. But it's passing. And that'll give us time to recover. Oh jeez, we're even taking attrition on this. Oh my god. Uh where can I put them? I, I put them over here. It's gonna cost me money. <laughs> I thought they'd be safe in Rome, but I guess not. Severe depopulation. My god. Luckily we've still got a... How old are you? 35. You've borne me five healthy children. But I'm gonna eat you. She got the fate I guess she deserved. She's not diseased, is she? No, 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 no. Oh, where'd she go? Doesn't matter. I'll take this one. I think there's four people we've eaten so far. <laughs> Legend the Saint. <laughs> also a fucking cannibal. Alright. The plague has passed my son's territory, but he's still got measles here. How's his food shortage? Still trivial. So he's alright. Ah, his son died. Oh well. Seventy-three years old. Dare you make it to eighty. Okay, it's gonna pass Rome very soon. We can open the gates. Get rid of this winkle sucking cod piece thief. Should be the next one to pass. Yes! Time to open the gates.
Oh, we didn't even have a didn't even have a physician. Um, there you go. Severe depopulation, but it'll pass. Damn, that depleted our forces. But like I said, this only happens once. I think the thing with the plague, though, is it's not that it happens in the, the 14th century, but happens roughly 200 years after you start, which is about now. Which is why it showed up. Now i got to wonder about them, uh, them Seljuks. They're due, aren't they? Now would not be a good time to be dealing with them. Now they're depopulated. Nowhere's flourishing. Not making very good money anymore. What's going on with the trade post at Cairo? Civil unrest and stuff. Oh well. Happening to my chaplains. I guess getting the Emirate of Castile and having our vassal over here like us a little bit more would be fine. So it would be good if all of these duchies got incorporated into uh, Aquitaine and then Andalusia disappeared. It has no need to, to create it. That would be great. Now, the funny thing is, with it hitting out here, now is my time to hit these guys. They're too weak now to... To attack, we've rec we're recovering. Mm, I, th I still feel like more recovery is needed. feeling about us at the moment. So, looking at this, uh, Kingdom of Africa, he's holding loads of Kingdom titles. He doesn't like us very much. Let me end this for you. I'll set up that title for you.
Doesn't look 70 years old. Oh, good job, you took some more territory. Nice. Sure, why not? It's good to see finances are improving again. Yeah, I need an apprentice. Yeah, we're already a scholar, so it's fine. Let's go with this. Yeah, this is potentially our heir. Make sure he's got a good martial ability. It's good. Okay, the Duchy of Calabria is fighting them. No, oh, but they're defending. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, that's right. Defending against Calabrian Holy Wolf of Latium. Good. Hopefully they win. Yeah. Now might actually be a good chance for us to do our thing. Okay, let's do this. Recruit the Holy Order and the Varangian Guard. Alright, head over here. So I need to get them ships over to Sweden. Oh shit. Wait, what, I think I got, what was it, Mystic Compass? Let me have a look. No, Magnetic Compass. And it doesn't require any particular item, uh, slot or anything. It, uh, it does require learning greater or equal to 20. That's fine. Most of my characters have that. Most of them. Stewardship, learning plus two. That's pretty damn good. That's really good. Okay. Now, he's infirm at the moment. That's not good. Could we... No, there's nothing I can do about it. Maybe he'll get past this, maybe he won't. Alright, move into position. Oh wow, they've gotten even bigger. Hit him here. And just raid all the way up the coast here. What's Sicily up to? Is this the rebellion? Oh, there's some sort of split. Yeah, it's just these ships. So we're not going for Latium, we're going to go for Genoa this time. Because the other guy might get Latium himself, hopefully he does. I think it's right now, he's getting ravaged by the Black Death, so he's not going to have as many levies available as I will.
Alright, here we go. It's risky due to the... What we're going up against, but... We need this. Alright. I want all my commanders on here. Need you to clear this shit out over this way. It's only 300 men, you'll be fine. We're already at 47%, that's really good. Alright, uh, so from Italy, I can get a measly 4,000. From Jerusalem, I can get a lot more. From Italy, I've already called them in. Yeah, not many. Okay, more coming down this way. Okay, there's still 26,000 men I can call in. Aquitaine. Let's pull them in. Yep, loads of troops. Uh, I might actually send them by sea. To land there. Okay, let's do this. I'm feeling confident. Especially with that bonus 47% straight off the bat. I need to slow this down, down to two times speed, because there's so much I gotta do really quickly. Look at that fucking attrition. Oh my god. It's just insane. <laughs> it may have been a mistake to even send them up this way. It's alright. Retinue is taking a beating. Good, we're already at 88%. Just need a solid win. Let's see if he'll just accept it. War. Oh, so the G Genoa is now two regions. I didn't know that. But it's good. We got it. Great success. Just one more to go. So, when it comes to this, we'll hand this over to just wherever. Can I create the duchy or. No, I'm not going to usurp it. Genoa, and what's this one called? Noli. Cool. Now when we look at this, we just need Latium and a bit more Prestige. It's actually quite expensive, that war, due to the amount of casualties we took with the retinue, which we didn't need to do. But better to be safe than sorry, I guess. God, how many children are you gonna have? A lot. All right, so yeah, that's all fine. It's gonna take time for prosperity to increase, obviously. It's only significant depopulation now. I wonder. I can go over here. This is actually good. Let that happen. Let it happen. Because that'll get destroyed, and then he can rebuild it and own it himself. So, yeah, let it be destroyed. Oh, 
he died. Was burnt on the stake? Mm. So, did he have any children though? Yeah, he had quite a few. Fucking burning at the stake. Bloody Christians and their burnings. I don't really care, just put him somewhere. Looking at things at the moment, yeah, quite a lot of orthodox. Makes me think if I'm ever going to go Hellenistic, it's going to be pretty hard to convert all this. I'm not sure if I ever want to do that. It just might be too difficult. It might be easier if I just do it this way. Ireland exists. How about that? Oh, they did it! <gasps> Restore the Roman Empire. Let's do it. Dawn of a new era. I've already done this loads of times before, but it always feels good to do it. So, Basilius the Saint gains the title Roman Empire. The Byzantine Empire is forfeit. Uh, gains the trait Augustus, or be known as the Glorious. Becomes the founder of a bloodline, giving the following effects. Um, ca uh, convert counties to Roman culture faster. Have we become Roman? Right. Um, Christian opinion, Hellenic opinion, reformed Hellenic opinion. Heil hit uh, Caesar. <laughs> Shit. Um, Augustus. Yeah, it's good. So he's still considered Greek. Can I switch him to being Roman? No. Convert counties to Roman culture faster. I mean, Greek culture is technically stronger than Roman culture. But, I mean, there's no Roman culture left. How are you supposed to get it? Roman Renaissance, that's new. Uh, with the Empire restored, we can all once again enjoy the civilized and opulent lifestyle of our ancestors. Conditions... None. Basilius, Legend of the Glo Ah, capital becomes Roman. Roman culture will start spreading across the, the empire. Yes, I think we will have a Roman Renaissance, I think. <gasps> Look at all this new stuff. Yeah. Restore the cult of Ballas, um, Bacchus. Establish Stoic... Intelligentsia. What is this? He's not in the society. What does it do? We can found a new society. The secret society of Bacchus is established. Ah, this is new stuff. Roman, huh? Roman Latin. But the downside of it is that we can no longer use. Like, it's just, it is actually weaker than um, Greek because you don't have access to, to the cat. Oh, no, you can still access Catafact Training Ground. 
Oh, that's because the the culture here is Greek, right? This has become Roman, right, 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 right. So if we look at this, there's a. The funny thing is now, like, where's our heir? He's Greek. I mean, he should be able to embrace Roman culture as well. Um. Let me just see here. Where's where's cultures? I'm just looking throughout my domain whether or not they converted more stuff. No, they didn't. Hmm. But if we have a look at some of our, our vassals now, they consider us a foreigner, don't they? Uh, foreigner minus nine. Not that big of a deal. But getting getting that spread everywhere is gonna take a long time. I have restored the empire, a feat worthy of immortal glory, yet now doubt besets my mind. How can I ensure that this empire will not fall like the empire like it did in the past? When looking for causes that fragmented and destroy the old empire, there is only one thing that appears to be constant. Weak and impious leaders doomed us all. Work to reinstate the old Hellenistic phase in the hopes that it will strengthen the empire. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I do this? Uh, now might be the best chance that we have. There we go. So I've become a, a secret pagan. Could it be possible that by embracing the barbaric Eastern religion of Christ, Emperor Theodosius weakened the empire and, and that conversely I might be able to strengthen it by reintroducing the worship of the old gods? My decision could just be doomed the empire a second time as I attempt to save it. Becomes the Grand Master. I must act quickly when people still praise me for restoring the Empire. Send letters to all your vassal, ordering them to follow you in your conversion. Seize all old Hellenic holy sites under your control so that new temples can be established within them. Becomes Hellenic. Will be known as the Apostate. 15% chance to gain the Lunatic. I didn't gain Lunatic. Look at that. Hellenistic Empire of... Whoa, I changed the cult. Oh, I didn't change the color. Um... All right, so we've we've restored the true Roman Empire, sort of. I haven't done this before, so this is this is new. Strengthen the Hellenic re Hellenic religion, but so let's just see, it's below thirty. So you can actually fight holy wars. I mean, you're old as fuck. Whatever. There's our son. Can I please make you convert? No. Huh, I've never done a reformation before. Let's have a look here. Um, we are presented with a unique opportunity to reshape our faith forever. We must be careful on the path we set, we set out on, as once the new dogma of our religion has been established, it will be impossible to change. Many learned priests and scholars have traveled to my court in order to discuss all sorts of theological matters and attempt to codify and complete the solid reinterpretation of our old tra of our old, old oral traditions. Yet, being the one who made this reformation possible in the first place, it would only be fair if I gave my own opinion. Okay. Great holy wars are allowed. This religion discourages missionary work. It's fine. Base moral authority is low. Um, civilized. Rulers can choose to gain sympathy with other faith decisions. Air decision designation is allowed. Rulers do not receive an opinion... Sorry, do not receive opinion penalties for raised vassal... Oh, wow. Um, fleets can navigate through major rivers. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? You can do that? Ship maintenance cost reduced by 10%. Or 2 10%. Holy crap. Um... I kind of like being able to have air designation. Let me just look at some of the things here. I'm going to have a look at the laws. It hasn't changed anything with this. 
look at his fucking setup now. He's actually wearing like Roman equipment. This is nuts. Uh, this is my son-in-law. Right, right, right. Shit. I tell you what, I like the Roman Empire a hell of a lot more than Byzantine Empire. This is going to be way more interesting now. But I have to tread carefully, because I could very easily get fucked up by factions if I don't... if I don't... be careful. Okay. I want my heir to be... Caesar legend of the Roman Empire. Why do I not have that many votes? Oh, uh, yeah, because that, that happens. Can't really do much about that. So if, except for assigning them manually, but that just takes too long. Oh, new music. Like I'm leaning towards either nature or or civilized. to randomize the selected features. Because I like the idea of Great Holy Wars. Let me just see. New music. What's this? These are single... Single regions we can conquest for. Can we not holy war? Can I not like conquest all or something? But with conquest, we don't. They could be of the same religion, and we could still attack them. Do I still have threat? Yeah, of course. I don't really like the idea of that. I'm not really much of a sea-bound person. I like the idea of air designation. What if I click this? Ah, okay, so we go peaceful. Rulers are less likely to start wars, plots, and factions. Rulers gain party while at peace. Looting is not allowed. Great Holy Wars is not allowed. Nope. Uh, religious head can decide upon dead ancestors to give special status. Uh, nope. Divine marriage. Nope. Temporal. Unyielding. Let's have a look here. Armies are stronger when defending their home territories. This religion is resistant to proselytizing. Great holy wars are allowed. Interesting. Equality. Absolute cognatic law is enforced. Female rulers are not penalized. Hmm. Not bad. Air designations allowed. Temporal. Warmongering is sort of my sort of thing. Rulers are extremely aggressive. Rulers at peace lose prestige. Rulers do not receive opinion panels to raise the Great holy wars are allowed. Interesting. Mm hmm. I've already had that. Autonomous. So there's Cosmopolitan again. Bloodthirsty gods. This is, looks like um, Aztec shit. Like, I want to be able to air designate. That's very important. But at the same time, I want to be able to do Great Holy Wars. I mean, it doesn't say it's not allowed. I, f I feel like civilized is definitely the way, way I want to go. Rome is the great land of the civilized. Oh, hang on, what is... Oh! You pick them from, from this side here. 
Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Because I've never done this before. Just bear with me. Um, civilized needs to come back. Right, 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 right. Look, I get to. Ch I see. So from cosmopolitan, right. I understand. You pick four different traits. I thought you pick one and you'd be like, "That's the one I want." Okay, at least I now I know. Right, because I didn't see this because because I increased the UI size. Right, so cosmopolitan's probably what I want, but let's have a look at what other features are able. Um, well, I definitely want civilized to be here. Where is that? I want that back. Um, actually, let me just let, let's start from this side and we'll work our way across. I want to read. I want to make the best and wisest choice possible. And sometimes you've got to read through it. So rulers are less likely to start wars, plots, factions. Uh, looting not allowed. Probably not. Um, rulers, are extre rulers at peace lose prestige. This is a maybe there for warmongering. That's a maybe. Uh, unyielding armies are stronger when defending their homes. Religious resisting to proselytizing. Maybe. Um, great holy wars allowed. Mm. Waging war against members of their own faith lose piety. I don't really care about that. So that's maybe. Because um, this one here has got a low base moral authority. And look, I'm not really big on missionaries. It'll just spread on its own. But warmongering, rulers are extremely aggressive. I don't know about that. I don't want my... Actually, I do want my guys to be aggressive, don't I? Rulers at peace lose prestige. I don't want peace. Defending their home territories. I think I might go with unyielding. Okay. Then we go with Doctrine. Bloodthirsty Gods. What does that provide again? Prisoners of a... No, no, I don't, I'm not... I hate the Aztec religion, to be honest. I think it's fucking disgusting. Divine Marriage. Close kin marriage is allowed. Close kin marriage among nobility is considered divine union. Uh, I'm not really big on incest. It's just not, I know, like, some people play XDK too because they love to fuck their sisters. But I'm just like... Mm, kind of cringy. Okay, air designation is allowed with meritocracy. Okay, we definitely want to make sure that one of our things is air designation allowed. Uh, short reign penalty is disabled. That can be good. Rulers can spend piety to improve their courtiers' attributes. I don't care about that. Uh, religious taxation of subjects in different religions is allowed. I'm not really a big fan of the GC attacks. Uh, rulers can ask their subjects to take the vows and disinherit them. Uh, maybe. I I'm not sure about that. Uh, rulers can choose to gain... Eh, whatever. Agnatic laws, enforced. Female characters not allowed. Yeah, nah. Equality, that um, maybe. So, Agnatic clans. What is this? Female rulers are not. Fem male characters. So that's that's for like the total cuck campaign. Uh, daring, prepared invasions are allowed. Okay. Seabound, I don't want that. Animalistic. Units from counties following the true faith receive a land morale bonus. Uh, maybe. The religious head can decide upon dead ancestors to give special status. Enables eldership succession law. Hmm, don't know about that. Civilized. Rulers can choose sympathy with other faiths. I guess you have two in this position, don't you? Um, rules to notice. Like, we'll put one point into that, but we've still got more to do. Um, polygamy. Uh, no, look, I'm not a big fan of polygamy. Um, Seabound, animalistic, meritocracy. Religion has the feature. Okay, so we can't. These are, these are mutually exclusive. Let me just have a look at these. Armies ignore defensive attrition. Oh. Ignoring defensive attrition. That's pretty fucking good. Holy crap, this is, this could end up being way more powerful than Christianity. Like, way more powerful. Um, well, let's switch that over. Let me just see. Because the main reason I chose Civilized was for air designation. And, of course, the um, other one. Religion has the feature unyielding. Ah, uh, you can't... Yeah, it's... Okay, so... I mean, 
defensive attrition. I mean, I'm, what I'm assuming by defensive attrition is that if you're in a defensive war, you don't take attrition, right? But I'm always in aggressive wars, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. All right, let's have a look. Back up at the top, let's have a look. Divine Marriage, don't worry about that. I like the short range penalty disabled, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, let's see here. I don't need to worry about female rulers. I can do that through the through the laws, I think. Bloodthirsty gods, I don't want to do that. Prepared, I think we'll do with... Let's see, I don't know anything about prepared, prepared invasions. Let me just see what some of the other ones are down here. What if I went with... Let's have a look at this one here first, uh, before I make a decision on polygamy. Um, okay, so temporal. The reformer will become the new head of religion. Right, maybe. It's pointless to them between two offices. But, yeah, that's good. So I become the head of religion and the head of state. There's only three available here. So autonomous. Well, this religion can pick a preferred branch. Every piece... No, no, we can't have this. Because that... So, not to that. The reformer. So we'll go with temporal leadership. Okay, back to this. I'm thinking of daring. So we'll become unyielding, civilized, daring, and temporal. Reform. The Hellenic Reformation. The Hellenic religion is proving unable to withstand the onslaught of the cross and the moon. Rather than abandoning the old ways, Pontifex Maximus legend <laughs> and the most powerful priests have decided to reform the Hellenic faith in order to defend its followers from infidel invaders. Uh, firmly under the leadership of a holy Pontifex Maximus, the Hellenic faith is ready to contend with its degenerate barbarous, barbarous opponent, uh, reborn stronger than ever from its ashes. For the first time in centuries, the authority of the Christian Church over Europe is being undermined. For Jupiter. Okay, so when we look at religion... It's here. Hang on, hang on, stop that. I am Pontifex Maximus. As what... A lot of religious authority from that. Partial control. It's not. It's not held by a member of the, the state, but it is under our control. Okay. I'll work towards converting people. Um. Yeah, you're fired. We don't have very good learned people yet, but we can start. Oh god, we got a long way to go. We have not converted a single region yet. Let's start with Rome. Might be a good idea, it's still orthodox. So, I need to make my my son here the heir. I'm going to need to call in favors. So, you, like me, I'm going to need to buy a favor from you, please. I don't, it doesn't matter what the cost is. Because I could die at any moment now. Yeah, so we, we lost them, but I never use them anyway. Okay. Uh, then I... Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
I need you to vote my way. Which means my, my eldest son, he's still alive. Yeah, fuck Christians. <laughs> I mean, they had no mercy for the friggin' pagans, so I got no mercy for them. He should be calling, yeah. But we need to keep purchasing more of them. Um, this one here, I'm gonna need to send him a gift. It's fine, he's cheap. Buy a favor. And then call in succession support, because there's no way we're going to live 10 years. I'm in the Hermetic Society. If I was to leave, and... I actually like being part of the Hermetic Society, but we can always... Oh man, look at that esoteric knowledge, holy shit. Worry about it with the next rain. Oh my god. S shit, look at all these new things. Create Myrmidons. Holy Order of Myrmidons will be formed. Praise Diana, they shall lead us to victory. Create, Ol create Olympian champions. The great celebrations across the Christian world after the restoration of the Roman Empire at the hand of the Pontifex Maximus legend have been cut short by a terrifying, unexpected turn of events. The new Pontifex Maximus has determined that Christianity is a barbarous and seditious cult that has no place in his new empire. It's basically the reverse of Constantine. Uh, in an effort to rebuild the past glory of Rome in its entirety, he has forsaken his faith in order, in favor of worshipping the old pagan gods of his ancestors. Lose 1,000 prestige. A new Hellenistic, Hellenistic temple in all these places. So be it. Like, 1,000 prestige. What, is, what does that matter? Dedicate temple. What does this do? You can consecrate a temple to a specific god of the Hellenic pantheon, ensuring that you receive their blessing. Okay, do it. Uh, many gods inhabit the Hellenic pantheon, but it would be only right to dedicate such an important temple as Roma to one of these 12 Olympians, the most prestigious of the deities watching us from above. This temple belongs to one of the Cronid brothers. Where's Jupiter? Ah, oh, right, Cronid is in Son of Cronus. Dedicate to three, one of the three sons. Okay, dedicate it to Jupiter. That seems only right that Jupiter should look after Rome. Uh, Pontifex Max lose 250 gold, 200 piety. Until... Yeah, he's not going to live that long. Gain shrine to Jupiter in Rome. Oh, we can build a field of Mars now. So that's the, that's the new Roman one. Man, they really buffed up the Romans, didn't they? I didn't, didn't even notice that. Pikeman plus 30. So it's it's pikeman based. That's fine, whatever. It's weird though, because Romans would be heavy infantry, you'd think. But whatever, I'm not going to complain. Uh, do we still have access to the cataphract guard? Oh, we don't. It's gone. Look at this retinue. Fucking hell. Pikeman like crazy. We're gonna re if we're gonna reform Roman, we're gonna do it the Roman way. Create a Praetorian retinue. Holy shit. Okay, so how many men is that? 550. Alright, let's get 10 of those. So that's a legion. 5,500 men. So we get two legions in Rome. And it used up a way less retinue cap than what the cataphract did. It's going to be very expensive, don't get me wrong. It was... Whatever, I got money. Demand religious conversion. Let's do this. What's this? Designate heir.
Succession law must either be gavel kind, primogeniture, ultimogeniture, or open. But I can't change it because it's the Roman Empire. What's this? Collegium p p uh, Is that... I don't know what that's for. See, I can't change the, uh, the laws on that. Fine, let's keep going. Wait, 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 wait. How bad is this? This doesn't really seem that bad, to be honest. Um... Well, let's start calling in our vassals. Ah, oh, shit. It's such a fucking mess. I'm just gonna call in all of them. Oh, God. You stay there, though. The Roman Civil War. <laughs> Back at it again with Roman Civil Wars. God damn it. It's alright. Uh, we've got a Holy Order, don't we? Costs a lot of piety, the Myrmidons, but there's a lot of them. So let's get them over here. Keep the legions out of this for the time being. Uh, before our troops can test their mettle against our enemies, we must be sure that the gods are in favor of this war. Viviana has gathered all our instruments and is ready to perform the divination of my offering. Um, mighty bull. Yeah, I'll go from mighty bull to wall. So what's with this so far? The attacker controls all of their holdings. All right. Not for long, though. We still got the Varangians, don't we? Bring him in over here. We'll start from here and just work our way through. Like I said, I don't think this revolt here is that bad. In, in fact, this is actually a good chance to, like, to root out problems. Uh, did you convert? You didn't convert. Why not? Makes me wonder if perhaps a designation of heir was not the best choice for the reformed pagan, since we can't do it anyway. But like I said, it's my first time doing it. I didn't know. Okay, bring it back up to three times speed now. So far, the Civil War's got just no traction. Century goes, the Galileans, in order to hide their crimes, falsely accused one of my predecessors of burning Rome to the ground. Perhaps it is time I return the favor and cleanse the Empire's old capital of the wretched temple scouring, scourging its seven hills. Burn all churches of Rome. We must be we must endeavor to be better than them. What churches? Is that like all these? No, we will endeavor to be better than, than the Christians that came before us.
Okay, as expected, the reintroduction of the ancient Roman law and customs has not been well received by their Galilean moralizers. An entire coalition of Christian priests has petitioned me to put a stop to these new excesses and prevent a damnation of my subject souls. Your cult of mediocrity is no longer law. Issue a great period of celebration of the empire, further encouraging the adoption of Roman culture. Yes. Spread my Roman culture. Spread my pretties. We'll root out the filth that has been a cancer upon this empire for hundreds of years. And we'll root out Constantine follies. The apostate triumphant. Despite the incredible unpopularity of his decision, Pontifex Maximus Legend has managed to emerge victorious from the Empire's recent civil war. Hardly civil war, really. And reaffirm his desire to restore the Hellenic faith to the Roman world. After his show of force and lucidity, uh, the Empire has gained several new supporters, both among the people and the nobility. We will drive more citizens of the Empire to embrace Hellenism. Man, what's going on? The game is like shitting itself right now. Okay, that's better. Okay, so if I was to speak to someone like you, demand religious conversion, he says true believer. Alright, well then you can stay in jail, I guess. He's already converted to Hellenism. You're in my jail. So, if I took this... Bye-bye. You're not of my dynasty anyway. But he's still got another one. If I revoke his title... Bye-bye. You don't get that either. Can I get some more out of you? Only orthodox vassals will object. Maybe I don't care about orthodox vassals anymore, do I? Nope. I do not. Let... Oh, shit. I better be careful. So we still haven't got the succession sorted yet. We're trying to go for this son here. Who is Hellenistic and Roman, of course. Let the Roman world be reborn. Okay, these two are voting my way. I still need a few more points. Let's try to remove it from this one here. That's my son-in-law. We don't want him. My chancellor has got a lot of lot of sway. I'll buy a favor with him. It's cheap. The Roman Empire will be reborn. I'm pumped. Are you pumped? I'm fucking pumped. Let the true Rome be reborn. Right. Now, my son-in-law here has the most... Should be getting 120 points into that, which should overtake it, but I need to take away his supporters. This guy's Roman. Good to see. Still, good idea to call in succession support. I can't believe how old we are. So 
we're gonna have a long time dealing with this this internal issues for you know to deal with this shit. What's this? So by doing this, I basically make him the Pontifex Maximus. What? What is this? Now we have to change the succession for that. Th does it really matter? So it is elective, but I don't get the chance to elect it. I don't know. What's f what's Realm Flemens? I've never heard of this shit. So looking at religion. Yeah, there's not much Hellenistic. We we've we've only just started really. Need you to convert him. We converted that one, didn't we? We did. Yep. We've still got more work to do. You've you've been converted. Good to see. Good. Good. A lot of conversions. That's what we need to see. Cool. Now the main thing is that we need them to become Roman culture, so they don't see us as foreigners. That's going to take a while. What about you? You're Hellenic. Okay. You don't have any. Yeah. Okay. We can have a count dwarf How about that. How many men do I have available? 75,000. Sorry. Alright, let's have a look now in terms of what Cassus Bellies I have available at the moment. Great Holy War. These are for... These are Crusades. I get... I could take, like, entire kingdoms away from them. That's not just... One count. That's that's one duchy. That's like multiple duchies. How good's that? So looking at this though, in order to call it, one of these must be true. Publicly practices a religion in the. Okay, all the following must be true. Publicly practice religion in the Christian group. The Great Jihad Era. Hang on, all the following must be true. So in order to declare war on him... Oh, I see. The, the Pagan Great Holy War Era has begun. It hasn't begun yet. Right. What if it never begins? It may never begin because of how large we are. Uh, I might have to look into that. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to look into it, how I can kickstart it. Because being able to just call Great Holy Wars at my disposal will allow me to conquer so quickly. Especially in India, where the kingdoms can be quite large. 
Like Punjab, that'd be great. Great holy war for that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was, didn't need to look in it. We just had to wait a little bit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. So if I was to declare Holy War... Yes, I can now do it. Good, good, good. I was worried that it was going to have passed me. Because in my Carlin campaign that I did years ago, um, I conquered the Abbasids so quickly that the Crusades never triggered. Because I'd already, I basically already conquered Islam by 900 AD. Um, should we do this? I mean, we've still got a bit of instability, don't we? Like, this kid here needs to convert. I mean, they... It's not that big of a deal. Insane heathen. I'm not insane, am I? So, bits of Roman culture already starting to pop up here and there. And in terms of religion, it's going to be a long time before we see the Hellenistic religion come back in full force. But, you know, it's starting to pop up here and there, so that's good. I've got 80,000 men at my disposal. See, I've never, never seen any of these before. I don't know what they do. And the modifiers that we have, like, morale of the army is plus 80%, extra garrison size, all these kinds of things here. This is all looking real promising. Like, really a lot stronger than, than orthodox. Like, a fuck ton stronger. Good, that was, that was raided, and now you just need to rebuild it. We've secured the succession, haven't we? Yes, for the time being, we've secured it. I don't really see the big benefit in staying in this position. I don't know if it goes to the ruler or what, I, I don't know. It really doesn't bother me losing that title. Now, if I do that, he wasn't. He won't become heir. This, this is the problem we had with the other guy, which. Oh, science, what's this? Um, after having consulted with some of the world's most respected diviners and having analyzed sightings from several realms, I have come to the conclusion that we are entering into a new prosperous age. The skies are clear, the weather is stable, and the stars have aligned favorably, ensuring this, ensuring stability, abundance and overall good luck throughout the land. Being po being the Pontifex Maximus, only my duty to spread the good news to all the Hellenic rulers. Uh, if we do this, uh, gets prophetic stars until whatever, gains... Yeah, okay, whatever. No downside, really. I know they're not exactly um, high in morale, but let's just see how they go. We didn't lose even like a, even a little bit of morale. Is it just me or our armies now of real Roman quality? We won't know until they're extensively tested though. Oh, Badajoz, that's a large one. Hmm, delicious. What happens if we lose? If we lose, we lose 3,000 gold. I don't think I'll lose. 
Great Holy War. I don't think I can do these that often, but we'll see how we go. What's this? So how does it work exactly? Is it the most contribution? Fucks them up? We already start off at minus 9%, but that's okay. It's probably because of this shit. Start bringing my forces over here. Why did I only get 5,000 from them? This is supposed to be one of my strongest vassals. What's going on? Oh, he lost some of his kingdoms. Well, alright. We'll just have to make do. We'll get over there. There they are. Okay. You come up this way. here. Alright, how many men have I just recruited? 47,000. I'm gonna need more than that. Let's call in the Varangians and the Holy Order. I'm gonna have them protect protect um, our retinue army. So you just stay there, basically. Where are our other forces? There's probably, yeah, Greece. Uh, I'll need another spot to recruit you from. I get a few troops from here, not a, not a whole lot, but bring them over. There it is, Greece. Good, 9,000. Alright, let's get to this. Need you over here. People joining. Loads of people wanting to join. But if they could just keep their Keep those fuckers busy while I smash this up. That would be good. All help is welcome. It might be important to fight a battle, though, just for war score's sake. Even if I lose the battle. So I might merge them. We've got pretty decent commanders here. Let's just see how they go. There's the Pope. Alright, how long? Ten more days. All help is welcome. I've still got the most contribution. That's the most important thing, I think. Because I need to make sure these come under my control so that I can dish it out accordingly. Alright. you got to be careful going through there. Go this way. I'm interested to see how well they fare up against an army of this size. OK. 
Okay, we've got the lead again. I can really feel the game sort of choking at the moment. Performance wise. So, looking at this, we're 11% in, but a Duke has got a lot more contribution. He may have fought a battle, so let's see how we go with this. Oh yeah, that rocketed us ahead. But are we going to win? That is the question here. Doesn't really matter if we don't win. It's just about that contribution. Yeah, they're going to win at this rate. So based on this, oh yeah, we're, we're way ahead of contribution. It's good. Keep bringing people in. See if they can take on the entire Roman world. This is actually a great way to deal with the defensive pack now, because they bring in all my vassals, they bring in all these additional troops. Okay. Maybe hit them up over there. Cause I got so many vassals. Not so many direct vassals, but there are a lot of people within the realm. It's a big empire. Good. They won a great victory there, which gave us. Absolute ass loads of, con of contribution. Barely lost any men. This is so far looking good. See if he's willing to surrender even now. No. Not yet. We gotta do a little bit more. I wonder how often I'll be able to do these wars. I'm hoping I can just do like another one straight afterwards. That would just be so overpowered. coming in over here to back us up. Okay, we've got ten times more than the person who's coming next. They surrender. Praise Jupiter indeed. So, we have all these lands. Most of them. So, if I was to hand it over to you, you are not... You are of my dynasty, but you are no longer Roman. Well, he was never Roman to begin with. Let's set up something new here. I'm going to set my youngest son here. Now, he's going to be a pretender to the throne, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to create the kingdom of Badajoz. I'm going to set you up over there. Lusitania. Okay, there you go. Now, as a Roman and a Hellenistic, of a Hellenistic religion and of my dynasty, spread the faith and the culture. Okay, so now we need to disband our troops. Now, I just want to check to see if I can go at it again. Uh, he's not independent. 
Nothing stopping us from going at it again. Yeah! Okay, that's overpowered. Fucking hell. That is so overpowered. But I like it. I like overpowered shit. How are we going? With this. So the blue is uh, the areas that have converted to Hellenistic religion. The green is probably all well, it's foreign. Um, I'll just work on whatever. Sun didn't convert to Greek, uh, to Roman stuff. Don't worry about it. Well, it's great to see most of my vassals converted to Hellenistic religion, but you know, you can't just convert your culture straight away. This guy is Roman. I might just let you play it out. Okay, we're also at an hour and a half. So, let's wrap it up here. Okay, so the Roman Empire is back, but it's still a fucking mess. It's going to take many generations to fix this, but you've got to start somewhere. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe. Part 18 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.